The principle is squares and circles are the simplest things you can reduce these to. So you have to find a way to make this into a square in space and then double that, measuring it out, and then making it go up, doubling it, finding that line through there, getting a great big square, finding the ellipse for that. And that way, you know you're getting the principle. And you can apply this to all sorts of problems, uh, including human limbs. People that draw the figure, you've heard some people say that you don't need perspective to draw the figure. But this elbow is a pivot for something that makes an arc that is about a quarter or a third of a perfect circle. Which, when you're going like that, you see that. But if I'm going like this and throwing something towards you, it's making a foreshortened ellipse. And the more foreshortened, the more important it is to know. How do you know how foreshortened? If you know circles in space, it means that you can animate people dancing and twirling around. And know there's a point for this point, and there's a point for here, that little bump on the little finger side, which is the end of the ulna. And if you can place that point and that point in any position, you're well on your way to solving the problem of the lower arm. If you know this point, it actually, it's about an inch into there, that point and this point, and you can do the same thing and know that if they swing in a circle or a portion of a circle, how to find that, you can do figures dancing.